Well, thanks for coming over today and joining us on this camping trip. We're doing some car camping, we're doing some day hiking, and just having a really good time. And what I wanted to do in this video is just make a really simple list for you of some basic necessities that we found you have to have when you go car camping if you're going to enjoy the trip regardless if it's from cookware to some tools to shelter that are just basics for everybody that i just want to hit with you so that when you go out there and have a, a car camping experience go on a camping trip with family and friends you don't end up regretting it or just having a miserable time because of the elements or oh my gosh we totally forgot this and now we got to drive into town to get this item you know or whatever it is so i hope in this video i just optimize your camping experience with some of these gear items that we believe on in our family are totally essential and we will include in the links below links over to amazon where you can purchase the majority of the gear that you see here and we'll have a list of a couple different items so that you guys can choose depending on your price point and what you're looking for but that's a great way to help support the channel when you guys use those hyperlinks regardless if it's for the items you see here today or any item whatsoever we get a small kickback helps us to get out here take the camera film talk do videos and help you guys maximize the fun that you guys are going to have out there out there in the wilderness edc whatever life may bring your way. So again, links below for the items you're about to see here. The first item I want to hit with you guys are tarps. And regardless if you're just needing it for shade because maybe you live in the desert or you're in a really dry environment or you're like us where we live in the Rockies and you can almost set your watch in the afternoon to the fact that you're going to have a rainstorm. We had two last night. Uh, about three hours apart and if we didn't have tarps we'd be stuck in the car or huddling in our tents and just not enjoying ourselves to the level that we were able to and you know we were able to play games and just kind of hang out so uh, right here you see in the foreground a mountain smith uh, their mountain shade tarp and then in the background they have their uh, mountain shade dome that's what we're rocking on this trip as I'm testing them out there are lots of really great tarps out there I love this mountain smith one right here in particular for rain protection as well as uh, shade protection so we'll have links again below for all these and a few other uh, tarps out there that really work well of all different shapes and sizes. But man, you, if you have that, you're set, regardless if it's a hot day and you're not worried about rain or it could rain on you, you're able to uh, enjoy your camping experience a lot better when you have a tarp. So this item I wish I had had for years and we've been using it on this trip and totally digging it. It's the Reliance Aqua Tainer is what it's called. You can pick these up at Walmart, or again, we'll have links over to Amazon. They can run you about 15 to 20 bucks, just depending on where you pick them up. And what I love is that it'll carry just over seven gallons of water, and uh, it has a spout that is it goes inside the body when you're transporting, so you're not gonna accidentally break it off or anything. And then when you are ready to use it, you can set it up on a table or whatever, and it has a fantastic pour spout feature. It's just a little angled because of the way I sealed it this time. Uh, it will go straight up and down without leaking. I've done it before. Um, but, I mean, I'm able to, you know, fill up my Nalgene really quick, easy. And it gives me the opportunity to not only, you know, uh, prepare food really quickly. I don't have to, you know, figure out with, like, uh, milk jugs full of water. You know, maybe run out. Maybe they leak. You know, you're pouring. This has a really nice just pour spout. You can rinse off your toothbrushes, clean out, you know, um, your plates and your eating utensils. It just gives a level of transportability and reusability that I wish I've been using for years instead of just using the milk jugs, which is what I used to do. So this thing is awesome. I would highly recommend it. Um, you know, I would say that this setup would easily, this one, uh, this uh, one particular one carrying that seven uh, gallons would easily be able to handle two people for a weekend, no problem, a long weekend. Um, you know, you may, if you have a family of four, you might want to do two of these for, you know, a weekend camping trip to make sure that you got plenty of water. But these things are awesome and I love it. Next up is a folding collapsible table. These things are awesome. They're lightweight. Uh, this is a lifetime model and uh, these will run. I think I paid $35 for this, but man, it's super collapsible and, uh, you know, it doesn't take up hardly any space in your trunk but then you're able to lay it out and you can prepare food with it, play games on it, you know, just do whatever you need to do versus trying to either work on the ground or, you know, maybe using like tubs or totes to try and use as a table, you know, and just jerry-rigging stuff. When you have a collapsible table, it makes everything that you're doing way easier, way more accessible instead of having to hunch down over on the ground and, you know, trying cooking and pouring and working and getting stuff dirty. So uh, these lifetime collapsible um tables are awesome and and we all in the family i have one my dad has one i believe my brother has one that we use for a lot of stuff not just camping but for camping they are essential 
I love this tool and is absolutely essential. This is the Cold Steel Special Forces Shovel. Now, this is designed in such a way that you can use this for a lot of different things. This is originally like a Russian uh, entrenching tool, and it's made out of, I believe, a 1055 high carbon steel. You've got a nice wood handle that if it were ever to be damaged, you can either buy a, a new one, you know, just straight off the internet, uh, or you could, you know, manufacture one and, you know, carve one yourself. It does have screws to mount that in. This we've used for, I think, three to four years now in our systems. It always goes in my camping tote. And it's just great, regardless if you need to dig a latrine, which this does latrine duty all the time. And, you know, it's got a razor sharp edge all the way around it so it can cut through roots and that type of thing. Uh, you know, regardless if it's like raining really bad and you need to kind of trench around your uh, tent and, and to keep the water from, you know, from running underneath the tent or helping to dig fire pits or put out fires without having to waste valuable water. This has so many different capabilities and so many different uses. And I believe the shovel itself you can get for, I think like 20 bucks. And then if you get it with the nylon scabbard, which I recommend doing, then you can get them for, I think like 30 bucks. Again, there'll be links over to Amazon below, but man, this thing is just so essential. And we use it every time we go out camping. We always find some new use for it or, oh man, I'm so glad we have the shovel. Um, for the uses, regardless if you're going to a designated campground with like, you know, toilets or not, very essential to have in the kit. Another major essential is a water resistant tote. Now this is a tough box. There are lots of them out there. We'll have a couple different options below in those links for you guys. Uh, and this one's like 27 gallons in size. But what I love is even when it was raining last night, you know, I could leave this out there and it doesn't matter. It's going to keep everything that I have dr nice and dry. It's got a flat surface so we can play, you know, dice games on it, different things like that. Just uses it as a secondary little table next to the, the collapsing table you know, to, to rest food on while you're sitting or, you know, something like that. And just keeps all of your gear in one designated place, super nice and dry. And then when it's time to go, boom, you just throw everything in here, pick it up and ready to go. It even has ports for locks. A lot of them will have that, that I will offer to you. So, you know, if you leave it at your campsite and you're worried about people messing with it, if it's a highly developed campsite, boom, just throw a couple locks in there or lock it to a tree. I mean, there's lots of options that it offers you, but I love these to be able to keep your stuff nice and dry. Regardless, gives you an extra table and you know, surface to work with and uh, keeps everything in one designated spot. Paracord, 550 paracord that'll handle 550 pounds of weight is essential. There are so many different things that you can do with it. And, you know, sometimes it's one of the things that gets forgotten the most, you know, regardless if it's, you know, fixing a line on your tarp that broke and snapped off. Uh, in this case, we have it wrapped around two trees that are about 50 yards apart. So that are 50, excuse me, 50 feet apart. Um, so that my dog can use it as a dog run, Tommy, the trail dog, and he can run back and forth and have a good time. And, you know, we don't have to worry about staking him down or he's going to run off and, you know, find a squirrel or something like that. Uh, you know, shoelaces getting messed up, uh, you know, throwing up uh, for a bear bag, you know, to keep your food out of the way. I mean, those are just a few of, of hundreds of ways that you can use uh, 100 feet of 550 paracord. So I highly recommend that. Super inexpensive. Lots of color combinations. Go high visibility as well. They even have reflective versions as well. So you might not trip over it at night, you know, and, and lots of stuff out there. We'll have those links below for you. But uh, 550 paracord is essential. So I want to thank you guys for coming over here today, watching this video. I hope it's helped you out. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope that you have an amazing, enjoyable camping trip the next time you go out based off of some of these things. And I hope that these gear items will help you to have and maximize the, the, the joy and the fun factor that you guys are going to have on that trip that you guys are planning. So as always, thank you so much. Check us out on all the relevant social media. That's a great way to see what's up and coming. Uh, always remember to subscribe, comment, like, share this video. If you guys like uh, what you see here, ask questions, do all that. We're posting up videos every single week. And always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.